before learning C, we'll go through the history of C. And uh, C language was developed by Dennis Ritchie in 1972 at 80 and Bell in USA. It was evolved from different languages, Algol, BCPL, B language, etc. And we'll go through the history like uh, 1960, Algol language was developed by International Group USA. Uh, these are the years and here the languages are written and the developers or the organization, individual developers of the organization. And uh, here we go. In 1966, 1960, Algol, International Group USA. In 1967, BCPL, Martin Richard. In 1970, B. Ken Thompson. 1972, Traditional C. Dennis Ritchie. In 1978, KNRC, Kellington and Ritchie. 1989, NCC, NC Committee. 1990 ANSI ISO C ISO Committee 1999 C99 Standard Committee and now we will start from basics of C language and for this now I will explain you the elements of C language we will start from character set and uh, as usual in English, in simple English, character is a single character, alphabet. And it have uh, alphabets. Alphabet set like small a to z, capital A to z. We have digits from 0 to 9. There are some special symbols. Like um, we have at the rate braces, question mark, etc. There are something new for you that is white space. White space is new line backspace as uh, we go through uh, uh, as there is a space so we press and enter it's a uh, white space and the definition of white space is they are the character which are ignored by compiler unless they are a part of string constraint. If we talk about C tokens, these are the smallest individual unit in C programs. Okay, and it is of six types keywords. They are for Examples are integer, int, char, do, if, all these are keywords are predefined. Identifiers, a name given by user. Like, uh, we, whenever we, ha we are assigning any value, like a equals to 7 or etc., that's only a some as a number to define number num constraints anything that is written in single colon a he, uh, here we can write any character set individual character set then we have string anything that is written in double quotes is called as string 
it can be a single character a word or it can be a sentence it can be a single character a letter or a sentence then we have special symbols that i already defined here any symbol is called here a special symbol if we talk about the operators which goes for the operation in program that is plus for addition asterisk for multiplication plus to n for modulo division etc then we have variables as uh, data can be stored in variables and it is like a equals to 7 and uh, a variable can be of integer type, float type, double, etc. In brief, I will explain in you on my next video. Thanks for watching this video. Like this video and share this video. Thank you.